This is episode 116. So you have an idea from my previous episode of how to generate better leads, but how do you get more of them? Because if you have more good leads, then your business will flourish. And in today's episode, you're in luck because I will give you my process on how to set up a campaign that will generate more leads for your business 24 seven. So let's get started. Welcome to the Calm Marketer Podcast. My name is Kenneth Fong, a digital marketer on a mission to help businesses thrive. I'll bring you on my marketing journey where you'll get to learn from my experiences as an INFP navigating an extroverted world and get actionable marketing tips for your business. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Now let's begin. All right, so I just wanted to piggyback off of my previous episode talking about how to generate better leads. Um, So now that we figure out how to generate those good leads for your business, now it's time to focus on getting more of those leads. Right. So once you figure it out what channel your leads are coming from, if it's Facebook ads, if it's social media, if it's from Google, now we need to figure out how to get more. And in this episode, uh, you will learn how to get more of those leads. So um, the first thing that you want to do, and this is what I do for all of my clients. So the first thing that you want to do is figure out how you can offer a valuable lead magnet. So what is a lead magnet? A lead magnet is essentially a piece of content or any type of valuable thing that you can offer in exchange for uh, the person's contact information, right? So it's called a magnet because you are attracting uh, leads with whatever freebie you're giving away. Okay, so you are um, attracting those leads with your magnet. And and um, a lead magnet can essentially be anything. You know, it could literally be anything. Um, you know, they can download it or access it online, or it can be some type of free voucher. So a, a list of lead magnet examples could be a free ebook, Um, a report, a cheat sheet, a comprehensive checklist, an email course, a video course. You know, when working with dentists, what we were doing was offering a free teeth whitening. We were offering um, a certain amount off for for a a cleaning, a free cleaning for new patients. Uh, We were even... um, promoting a free consultation worth $125 for dental implants. So it can be anything like that. Uh, For my solar clients, uh, we offer a $1,000 off a voucher, right? Or any type of free consultation. So any type of freebie that you can give away, um, especially if you are a local business, uh, that will be an excellent lead magnet for you. So figure out what it is you can offer for free or what type of promotion you can give in exchange for the person's contact information. So once you've figured out a lead magnet, you need to uh, figure out how you can showcase this lead magnet and you need to figure out a way where your uh, uh, potential lead can give you their information. So what is this platform? You need a landing page for your lead magnet, okay? So what is a landing page? A landing page is essentially a one-page website that will showcase and communicate the benefits of your lead magnet, and it allows leads to opt in. So there's a, there's a couple of landing pages. The most simple one is called a squeeze page. So a squeeze page is essentially a very, very simple, simple landing page. And there's essentially three things that encompass a squeeze page. You need a headline, 
So what's a headline? A headline is the first line of text that that someone reads. Um, you can think of a headline as like a news article headline, um, the headline on a front page of a newspaper. That's called a headline. That really hooks people in. And then the second thing you need is an opt-in form, right? An opt-in form is where people can put in their name and their email address. And then the third thing is a call to action. So you need to um, not only have a button, right, that they can click on to claim the, the lead magnet, but also you want to um, have a, a line that says, you know, uh, fill out this form to get your free teeth whitening voucher sent to your inbox or whatever it is, you know, so it needs to be enticing. And a more elaborate landing page would be called a sales page. So a sales page has much more information. It might have uh, some sales copy explaining the lead magnet. It could have some video. It could have testimonials. It can have um, features and benefits. So this is a lot more elaborate landing page versus a squeeze page. But for all of my local clients, um, I always focus on a squeeze page because they just work so well and they convert. They convert at a high rate. So you have a couple of options there. And um, to create your landing page, um, we use ClickFunnels and that's something that is super easy to use and, and I highly recommend it. And the third thing is to optimize your website for lead generation. So if you are a business, most likely, most likely you have a website. And what I always recommend for my clients is to make sure that your website is optimized for lead generation. What does that mean? That basically means that you are using your website to generate leads. And you generate leads from your website doing a few things. So the first thing that you can do is to add a any type of pop-up or a feature box or a slide in form any type of pop-up that asks people if they want to download your lead magnet in exchange for their information okay and i'm sure you've seen all of these pop-ups in different places right um but other things that you can do is to add opt-in forms in your blog posts so if you have a blog section, what I highly recommend is to add an opt-in form at the very bottom. So you can say, you know, if you want more of, if you want more of this content, you know, click this button to sus subscribe to our email list. Or you can say, if you want to learn more, download this free ebook. Or you can say, if you want to, um, if you want a free, uh, teeth whitening kit, uh, click this link to claim your voucher if you know if you are a dentist. So it could be anything, right? So make sure you are collecting leads in all of your blog articles. And another thing that you can do is also add your lead magnet landing page to the navigation bar. So what do I mean by that? So remember, we talked about a landing page, right? So what you can do is add a link to that landing page in the navigation bar. And this is a really cool trick, a really cool hack that I've seen in some places, and it just blows my mind how simple it is, but how effective it is. And I don't see that many companies leverage this strategy. So um, basically, you can add a link to your lead magnet in the main navigation, and the link will go to your ClickFunnels landing page, your squeeze page. So if it's to download an ebook, to download a voucher, to claim a voucher, to download a checklist, a cheat sheet, a report, uh, you can add that link to the navigation. One really, really cool example is if you go to rocketshipagency.com, that's rocketshipagency.com. Uh, it's a, a site by Chris Von Wilpert. He's a copywriting um, content marketing uh, expert, and he does really great content marketing and copywriting. 
and his website is Rocket Ship Agency. And on that website, you'll notice that on the navigation, there is a link called Free Training. So when you click on that, it takes you to a very, very simple squeeze page. Uh, there's a headline, there's a video, a 47 second video. Uh, and it's pretty interesting because the video is only the first, like a snippet of the training. So in order to watch the whole training, uh, there's a, a call to action button right below the video that says, watch the full interview for free. So you need to click on that button. And what they, they want you to do is give, give you their email. So they are collecting your email address to watch the entire uh, video. And that's pretty genius. You know, if your video is valuable, if your video offers something that your customers want, you can just uh, put that on, you know, not a paywall, but, you know, on an opt-in, right? So just take a 30 second clip, put that on your squeeze page, and then put a button um, asking people for their email address to watch the entire video. I think this is really, really genius. And it's so simple. It's so, so simple. Anyone can do it. So try it out. All right. And the fourth thing that I want you guys to do is to really make sure you are measuring your progress, right? So uh, keep track of the number of leads that you generate every month. So make sure you are looking at the analytics in your click funnels. Uh, if you go to you know your your funnel, uh, there is a section called stats. And when you click on stats, you can basically look at all of the page views and all of the opt-ins. And you want to make sure that you are optimizing your opt-in rate, right? Uh, you want to make uh, your opt-in rate very high because that means uh, the people who see your page, the more percentage of those people actually opt in. And also use Google Analytics as well uh, to track those 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 numbers. So may, hopefully you thought this was helpful. Make sure you have a really good lead magnet and make sure you have a solid landing page and, and you'll be well on your way to generate more leads for your business. So if you, I know this is pretty high level, but if you want someone to take you by the hand and really help you do this, I highly, highly recommend the One Funnel Away Challenge by ClickFunnels. Um, they teach you how to generate new leads who, who are in your market and are excited to buy from you. So if you want to learn more about the One Funnel Away Challenge, click the link in the description or in the show notes, and uh, you'll be able to learn more about it. And if you want to contact me, uh, if you want to ask me any questions, if you want to collaborate, just go to bit.ly forward slash the calm marketer. That's bit.ly forward slash the calm marketer. And you can shoot me a video message, an audio message, or a text message, and we can connect over there. So with that said, hopefully you thought this uh, episode was helpful, and I will speak to you on the next one.